Hi, I'm Robert Riggs. This is Brad DeSagan with the Clarity Clip of the Week, standing at the third base foul line to talk about how not to hit a foul in social media because today <laughs> Sports Center is alive, the Twitter is alive over a tweet by a Texas A&M assistant football coach who's over recruits decommitting, big yeah. controversy. Yeah. Uh, or is it? <laughs> yeah. The lesson is, though, of all of this. Yeah, I mean, I think the lesson is, is when you're in a frustrated state or an emotional state, or you might just be pissed off. You don't jump on social media to express those feelings if you're representing a brand. Your personal stuff is your personal stuff. But when you're out there as a football coach, we see it all the time in sports. Yes. I mean, somebody goes off or the refs didn't make a call or whatever, and they go off for 10 minutes on these rants. They call them social media rants. But if you're a representative of a company, or you're a team member of a university or a major sports team or something or whatever the case may be take a step back take 24 hours if you need to do something like that from an emotional step get a piece of paper and write it down but we do advise our business clients to hit that emotional cord with their audience no yeah more. and that's where it gets tricky because we do want to you know attach if you will or connect with our clients and our followers in social media on the emotional level that's the whole point right the whole point of social media is to make that deeper connection it's not just about coupons and brands it's you're connected with me at a deeper level but don't go to the extreme because the minute you go to the extreme they're gonna leave because you're gonna make right. somebody upset right you remember that from politics some of your background in journalism sure and in broadcast journalism uh, we had a checks and balances in that we had producers or editors who looked at our copy before it went out. You got a second set, maybe a third set of eyes on it so you didn't get into trouble. Look, ask a cohort, ask the person next to you, ask a friend to take a look at it. And if you have the slightest question or doubt about your emotions at the moment, you really want somebody else to look at it. You know, we do that together because I'm the one that kind of pushes the envelope sometimes, <laughs> and you come in with kind of a corporate view and like, oh, we, we got to tone that down. Yeah, and and I think a checks and balance is a perfect way to look at it. Have someone on your team, not necessarily your boss or something. Maybe it is a coworker or or someone who's on your team is to just review this stuff. We're not saying be. You know, Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Politically Correct. Because sometimes yep. in order to connect with your audience, you do have to be kind of in their face and right. out there and pushing that envelope. It's just the manner in which you do it, how you do it. And remember, we hear it all the time. You hear it in your personal relationships or whatever. Like, well, I can't tell them. I can't tell what you meant by this on this tweet. I can't tell what you meant by this on this text. You have to take the same thing when you're out there representing your company and talking to people is they're just reading words. They're not they're right. not with you in right. your presence. So you gotta be careful. All right, so the takeaway on this week's clarity clip is step out of that batter's box. Are you going Take to break a foul and it'll be ugly? Thanks, see you next week. Have a good one guys.